I'm Mark Gray, and I got beef. This week, it's with the NFL and the NFL 2021 draft. I could not believe that one time we didn't see any players from HBCUs walk up on stage, grab a cool hat, find themselves getting a nice jersey, taking a warm embrace from Commissioner Roger Goodell as he prepares to put his hand down their pocket and take money away from them for wardrobe malfunctions. You know, socks too high, wrong shoes on, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, then there's the other fines that you get for being a heat-seeking missile trying to make a tackle and two bodies interact in a wrong spot. That clearly was just by happenstance. But here comes that FedEx package, and you got to pony up. Still, no players were drafted from HBCUs this year, and that's a problem. But I don't think it's going to happen in 2022. Why? Because you've got the reigning defending Buck Buchanan Award winner. Did you hear the national FCS Defensive Player of the Year is Jordan Lewis from Southern University. This kid straight balled out during the course of a five-game schedule. Consider, he had 19 tackles for loss in five games. In my humble Morgan State education, I think that translates to almost four sacks per contact, four and a half sacks. That's bananas, you know, when it comes to tackles for loss. He had 10 and a half sacks for the five game season. That means at least twice he was able to clip the quarterback of the opposing team behind the line of scrimmage. And in one game versus Jackson State, it was how he saved the game. So look, between Jordan Lewis, the Southern Buck Buchanan Award winner, and Aquil Glass, who to me is just as good, if not better than Trey Lance, who was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers. I can't see how the NFL next year screws this up. Now look, you made a cursory trip to the HBCU combine. You didn't find any gems there. You got two shining stars already before you. What excuse will there be? in 2022 just something to think about as all you stat geeks and guys get ready to spend your time watching the underwear olympics er, the nfl combine and all the other draft nonsense and the scream tvers here's something to scream on make sure in 2022 There are at least two players who come off that board and get drafted in the rounds where they make guaranteed money. Aquil Glass at Alabama A&M and Jordan Lewis at Southern University. Because the eyes of the HBCU sports world are on you, NFL, and you better get it right. I'm Mark Gray, and I got beef. And if something else jumps off, I'll have another one next week. Peace.